Welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93, what's up DBB 93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel as well as our returning subscribers for coming back. And to everyone that's watching the video that are not subscribed to the channel, welcome you guys. This reading is for our beautiful Geminis. This is your birthday month, you guys. So I want to say happy birthday to all Geminis out there. Um, as well as... You know, um, if you're looking to follow me on other social media platforms, all that information is in the description box down below. So in this reading, make sure you guys take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. Let's get into your reading, you guys. So the energy here for you is, I feel like you're balancing out your skills. Um, and I get the feeling that sometimes when things are so good, we tend to look towards like what's gonna come up next how you know how will we inspire to do different in our life and i feel like at this moment you are releasing those energies of regret and feeling like either you've been alienated or um i want to say it's more of feeling as though you don't belong here um the energy that came out is deceit and attachment. So I feel like at this moment you're releasing yourself from those attachments that no longer serve you. It could be the old faces of yourself. It could be the old things that you used to do and how I feel like for some of you it's saying self-sabotage. Okay. Um, but it's calling for you to be honest in this connection that you're dealing with it could be work it could be friends it could be a relationship um but I do feel like when it comes to this situation it's it's a bittersweet moment for you guys because it's like you're walking away from the past that no longer serve you into something that's beautiful and I feel like for some of you others may not understand this journey that you're on and you know they kind of I feel like for some, they're kind of stuck in their ways. But for you, you have like this clear vision and the divine is telling you to keep this vision. They're giving you strength to come through, you know, these attachments that you have and the attachments is what deceived you. OK, so I feel like when it comes to the situation you're dealing with, it's saying more of. Go with your gut, go with your intuition, and follow through on anything you see forth that's best for you. I feel like it's saying, like, don't eat, don't ask other people what's good for you. Okay, Gemini's? It's, it's like, sometimes we want that inclusive situation going on. And I feel like for some of you, you're, you're like, more on branching out, doing your own thing. And for some of you, you could be questioning because this is something that's new for you. You know, are you doing the right thing? You know, is it was best for you? Or I feel like for some of you, you're saying to yourself, are you too tunnel visioned here? And I feel like the divine is saying, no, you're on the right path. You're doing what's right for you in your life. OK, so we do have over here a few more cards. The world. So anything you want to manifest is coming true. Anything you put forth your great intentions towards is giving you that balance. And I feel like for some of you, the reason why you're going back and forth is because this newness is something that you've never experienced before. If you have experienced it, it was in a different life. And I feel like for some of you in that different life, it got cut short. So now you come back and you're ready to go full force because the next card that came out on top of that is a man holding a coin. So I feel like this man holding a coin is someone you can deal with. Someone that gives you, I feel like for some of you, this is a relationship more than it's a boss. But for others of you, it's a boss. It's someone that gives you that stability that you've been looking for. Someone that shows you the light at the end of your tunnel that brightens your horizons i feel like this person understands you in a way that they kind of grow your crops if that makes sense 
I don't know, it's like they water your grass in a way that helps you continuously feel like you're going on an adventure. And I feel like for some of you, that adventure has been cut short with other relationships you've been in where you feel like it's not so much as the person was an adventurous, but they didn't quite see the full you. And now you're letting your guard down and this person that comes in is willing to support you and your dreams and anything you want to do. So it gives you that profound look on life like anything can happen and you're ready to go after it. Now we have here a thinking man with victory. This is an offer, a stable foundation. I feel like this person wants to be all and do all that um, you desire. I feel like for some of you, it's it's this also this moment of, aha, I found the one or aha, this is where my path leads me to, to where I can continue on and feel as though I am, I feel like achieving your goals because something here gives me the energy like you felt like you were stagnant, you weren't achieving your goals enough to come into this victory. So every time you would reach, you know, closer to victory, you would kind of bag off because, again, that self-sabotage energy comes up. But now you're in a space of happiness, which gives you this blossoming abundance. And I feel like for some of you, you could have struggled when it came to financial issues. And I feel like with the... um. The man holding the coin, this person is going to contribute to helping you either come out of this debt relief or for some reason, it's like this person is very hardworking, okay? And I feel like when it comes to your connection, your situation with this person, regardless, like I said, if it's platonic or actual relationship, I feel like it's it's very warm in this energy that you feel with this person. It's very you know, um, heart taking. And I feel like this person has taken you and woken you up to this new world of adventure. I don't know. I just keep getting this adventure. And it's more to me like they see behind your eyes. And at first it could have freaked you out. <laughs> at first it could have made you feel as though like this person, you know, they did their research on me and you find that a lot of people don't do that because they feel like either some of you are crazy or, you know, and that's a harsh word to use, but I feel like um, a lot of people have said this about you before and it kind of, it takes you back to not wanting to be a part of connections because either you get bored fast or either they say the wrong things and it doesn't make you feel loved, okay? So you do have here the Page of Cups. This is your imagination starting to run wild. You need that to happen in order for you to succeed, which we have the Six of Swords here, which is claim your victory, claim everything that's going on because it's made just for you. It's, it's this energy of pushing forward just for you. This is your world, you know? It's like flourishing your world and understand that you deserve to flourish in your world, okay? So we do have here next strength. You have another card of strength, this stability here. It's, you know, it brings me back to the story, especially with this particular card in a picture. Um, you can give a man a fish, but he won't know how to fish. But if you teach a man how to fish, then he will be able to provide for him and his family and other people around him, which in return, it's kind of like the, um, oh my goodness, I'm trying to come out of the channeling here um, to say it. Um, so it's like, uh, geez, I don't know exactly the word. Um, but when you do something to someone, it's like this chain effect here. And that's what you're doing. Like, I feel like for some of you, you're releasing your heart. It, it's giving me the energy of free falling, free falling into whatever you're dealing with and having faith in that okay but you do have here the queen of pentacles with the queen of cups so this is that kindness and then the sensitivity you're balancing out your monetary life as well as your heart and i feel like for some of you this has been off balance a long time so now it's 
the energy of okay things feel more at peace you know more balanced you're willing to take things slow especially with the turtle being here to me and i feel like it's more not so like you're taking things slow but you're just going with the flow here i feel like for some of you you've questioned do you have to choose between your career and love and the divine is telling you you don't have to choose you can balance out both you just need to i feel like for some of you you need to rest for one but you need to um meditate because that would help you balance even more i feel like sometimes you may go into this solitude or you want to be away from others and the divine is telling you that's exactly what you need to do because it will help you rejuvenate your energy and come back strong as ever okay so we also have here integration which is great you're you're coming together with others in a way of showing your true self and being creative alongside this rebel you know um i feel like when it comes to your yin and your yang <laughs> which is beautiful it's it's kind of like you're breaking traditions to create a new tradition here it's the um, the energy of balancing out your chakras for one but it's is daring to be different daring to be you daring to walk through this door of happiness and know that you know that you have to stop deceiving yourself that this is for you it's kind of like i feel like for some of you you need to get in touch with yourself and you may feel this disconnect because you're still healing wounds that you're not aware of that's coming up in your healing i feel i feel like but once those wounds are healed you ignite this passion this fire within you to stand up for what's right stand up for yourself and not only that i feel like i don't know it's giving me you're chained to something it could be I, I feel like it's like family ties here but it's something about stepping out and creating the mold it's I don't know. It's more of... Hmm. It's something that has to do with the planets. I'm not too versed in um, if we're in a retrograde or not. But something's going to come up to where you need to speak your truth. You need to open up and say how you really feel about something because I feel like for some of you you're hiding you're hiding behind hmm, you're hiding behind your different faces which is interesting because as much as this reading is beautiful and you have I mean a lovingly spread is something here that's deceiving, deceptive to me. And I feel like it's you. I feel like you're hiding behind trying to prove to the world that you're happy or you're... It's something here about proving something to someone or something. And I feel like while you're trying to prove something to somebody, you are losing sight to what you're really here for, what your purpose is. You have here clinging to the past and loneliness. So you're aware that the past, certain things in your past make you feel this deep regret, this loneliness. But I feel like with this clinging to the past, this is you reminiscing on past relationships you've been in and how they were so intertwined into your life that whatever you're trying to go towards is nowhere near like that like it, it makes you come out of this box it makes you open up more to actually understand what i feel like for some of you what love is because i feel like for a long time you never really had an emotion to put to what love really was like you would say the word but it didn't have meaning behind it but now you're feeling that meaning it's, it's kind of like 
Hmm. I feel like your nerves are starting to wake up. I don't know. It, it's just this, I don't know. I feel like this awkward feeling right now. And it's like something here, like you want to talk about it so much. But you can't put words to it. It, it gives you that um, heartbeat pause. You know, if someone flatlines, and I don't want to say it that way. But if someone flatlines, like that's the energy. Like it's that heartbeat stop and go and stop and go. Like you're gasping for air here because it's like, you, you know how like li when little kids are so excited, they they can't get the words out. This is what I feel. I feel like your inner child is coming back out to play. And it hasn't been out in a long time. You do have your playfulness. So it it's like the spark in your life is back. And maybe you didn't realize it was actually gone. Maybe you didn't understand that the way you were going about life was not up to your highest good. It, it made you feel as though you weren't doing what you wanted to do you have your reciprocity and you have here adventure this is allowing things to unfold this is going on this adventure and giving yourself the utmost respect i feel like i don't know it's kind of giving me the empress and the, and the emperor energy here where it's like I feel like you come into this period where you don't care you don't care what others think you don't care you know we started off saying that you were looking to please others and now you understand that balancing out your yin and your yang you bring in life into you like it's like you're breathing in this life and I feel like for some of you you don't understand that you're recycling out that bad karma, that bad energy into beautiful, happy new beginnings, which allows you to explore the world in a way of reaching for the stars, touching the rainbows, seeing what comes next. And I feel like for a lot of you, you feel as though you've been shielded from what comes next because you feel like you've been in this I just, I just see a penny just swirling around, swirling around and going down. But instead of it going through the hole, it's, it's still just going around and around. And I feel like you feel like you've been on this merry-go-round so long that you're just ready for this new beginning. I feel like for some of you, you weren't aware that you're ready. And you may have felt like at first you weren't ready. But now, since things are taking off, you understand that you are ready because abundance is here. You have created this new beginning. And I feel like for some of you, you need to take that recognition on. You need to say, I did this, you know, because through this stress and, you know, you're going to complete what you need. I feel like for some of you, this stress is releasing the past, releasing the things that don't serve you. This stress is more of, I feel like for some of you, you want to get things done so much. Like you, you, you just want to keep working and the divine is telling you, Free flow with it. Let it go. Let it go and let it manifest on its own. And for some of you, you've been doing that. And I feel like that's what's giving you this energy to create this new vision that you want. And it's very colorful. It's, you know, it's no restrictions here in this new beginning for you. See, we have here going with the flow. And I feel like this is you kind of backpedaling into life like, I know how to swim frontwards, I know how to swim backwards, I know how to do the butterfly kicks. Like, for some of you, you needed that. You needed this, you know, I feel like it's more communication with something or someone. You needed to open up and be vulnerable for a moment. Because if you weren't vulnerable, I feel like this new beginning wouldn't have taken off for some of you. You do have here inner voice and existence. You are coming into this period of knowing that you exist in this world and how your existence is so important to the things that you need to do for the world. I feel like this inner voice is telling you, you know, listen to me, I'm guiding you. And I feel like for a lot of you, I feel like you're just on this path, this path of guidance and you're not backing down. And that's beautiful. That means your strength is very strong. We had the strength card come out. I want to say two or three times, but for you, it's, it means the world to you to have 
this balance and strength and to be able to connect with the divine even more and I feel like for some of you knowing your existence and feeling free I feel like it's more of feeling naked in this universe gives you that inner child energy but I feel like I wanted to say this wisdom that carries you along your path so that is so beautiful you guys this is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given the video a thumbs up, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if your bell notifications are not turned on, please turn your bell notifications on. Also, you guys, if this video resonated with you, go ahead and leave a comment. I will be in the comment section with you guys. So, you guys, make sure you have a great day. I will see you guys later. Bye.